When it comes to SD cards and trail cameras, 99% of the time, it's an afterthought. You buy a camera, you grab whatever card you have laying around, throw it in the camera, and that's the end of it. Because SD cards, it's not a sexy topic. It's not a trending topic. And halfway through this video, you're probably gonna get tired of hearing about SD cards and you're gonna wanna click off. But by doing that, you're gonna keep yourself in an endless loop of making the same SD card mistakes over and over and over again. When it comes to purchasing the best SD card for your trail cameras, a quick search on Amazon is gonna yield thousands and thousands of results. And you're either on the spectrum of wanting to save some money or on the spectrum of you get what you pay for. And when it comes to your SD cards, you want to stay away from generic brands. The SD card is storing all of the data points on your trail camera. And that's what you're wanting to get, right? If the camera is taking pictures, that's great. But storing them and being able to review those photos is what really matters. So you don't want your SD card to fail. The one way to combat that is to stick with the major players, the guys that have been doing it for a really long time, the PNYs, the SanDisks, the Lexars, the Kingstons, those will be the best brands to use in your trail camera. Buying the most expensive SD card for your trail camera is probably not the best thing. I do it, guys at the office do it. We all have this thing about buying things that are bigger, things that are faster, but it's not always the best. Think about the small files that a trail camera actually writes. Do you need the fastest writing speed? Do you need the fastest reading speed to upload a few thousand photos? Is that gonna make a difference? So here's a hot tip. The best SD card for your trail camera is gonna be what the manufacturer recommends. So if you are an Exodus user, inside the Exodus render user manual on page 30, it says SD card requirements. So it's all stated right inside your user manual what the actual best SD card for that trail camera is. So check with your manufacturer to see what they recommend. That's gonna be the best SD card for your trail camera. Micro SD cards are not the best SD cards for trail cameras. There's probably guys out there saying, yeah, but GoPros take micro SD cards. Why can't I use a micro SD card? Trail cameras are not designed for micro SD cards. When you run a micro, you have to use an adapter. With the adapter, you have additional contact points. With the additional contact points, you have added points of failure. Stay away from micro SD cards. They are not the best SD card for your trail camera. So once you have the correct SD card for your trail cameras, here's a couple quick tips to help you get the most out of that SD card. Never put the card in the camera or take it out of the camera while the camera is turned on. It's best practice to do so with the camera powered off. When you're using a new SD card, always format that card inside the camera before you put it out in the field. Or if you're switching it out in the field, make sure you format that card in the camera before you actually set it up and let it run. With formatting the card, when you put it in the trail camera itself, it's actually doing what's called a soft format. And we recommend doing a hard format in a PC or on a Mac twice a year whether that's halfway through the season or whether that's after the deer season and before the deer season. Another really good tip to keep you organized and get the most out of your SD cards is to actually have two dedicated SD cards for every one camera. Now, when you're running cell cameras, this gets a little bit different, but for standard SD card cameras, we always recommend using two SD cards for that camera and only putting those SD cards in that trail camera, no other devices, and you'll get the most out of your SD cards.